Right, so the following video is how I taught assets and bases. A lot of my children, with my pre-test that I did, thought that assets and bases are some things that are sour, some things that are smooth, some things that foam, and some things that eat things away, it's corrosive. That's what they thought, so I'm very glad that I did a pre-test. And when I saw the misconceptions that they had, and I saw how they understood assets and bases, I decided to do a mini play with them. I created a worksheet. The worksheet is in three parts. Part one is where they answer questions as the play is going. I was doing like a monologue thing. Part two is the information about what makes something acids and bases. Who found out what an acid is and what a base is on a molecular level. And part three was the actual answering of some questions where they had to link part one, the play, part two, which was the actual information, and then they had to use these two to understand and answer the questions that follow. So, first thing, I've made hydrogens and hydroxides, and then <laughs> I said, I'm a bank teller, and then I did this play where someone was phoning the bank and I was the person working at the bank, the person on the phone, the receptionist, and this is how it Water bank, hello. How oh, good morning, Mr. Acid. How are you today? Uh, uh sir, sir, no, sir. Uh, hold on, sir. Look, sir, look, sir. I don't make the rules here, sir. Don't get upset, sir. You're always so bitter, sir. You're so rough around the edges. Yes, sir. Yes, you have to give one of your hydrogens away to the bank, sir. That's just how the world of atoms works, sir. You're an acid. You give your hydrogens to the bank. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. So I, I will take one of your hydrogens over here. Thank you. Okay. Have a lovely day, Mr. Acid. Water bank, hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Bass. How are you today? <laughs> oh, Mr. Bass, you're always such a smooth talker. You always make me feel so foamy and happy on the inside. Yes, Mr. Bass. Your hydroxides. Yes, sir. You've, we've got your hydroxides right here for you, sir. You just need to come fetch them, sir. Yes, hydrogen as well, sir. You can always just come and withdraw one of your hydrogens, sir. Yes, sir. It's always here for you. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. And that's what I did for acids and bases. And what my children did was they saw, after this, we've looked at the theory and we've said that, right, so an acid is something that gives a hydrogen. It's not because it's sour. It's not because it is corrosive, because a base can also be corrosive. Those are characteristics, just like the character number one. They had to answer questions. Who was character number one? Why was the bank called water bank? Because when an acid is thrown into water, it donates a hydrogen, just like the acid, with its characteristics of being bitter, sour, and being um, rough when you feel it. It had to give its hydrogen to the water bank. And with the base, bases are smooth, and they can foam, but those are characteristics of base. What makes something a base is that it gives off a hydroxide or that it takes in a hydrogen because there are exemplar, exemplars to the rules. So my students understood this very well and then we did a case study where we took a pH indicator and we went and we looked at different types of water. Still water, we've got a fountain water here at our school. And then we looked at water from the tap and we looked at how acidic or how basic something is. And they had to use this knowledge that they've gained to go through this case study and get findings of the experiment. And I looked at their work, they understood that characteristics of acids, characteristics of bases, and what actually makes something acid, what actually makes something basic. So I was really fond about how this lesson went.